The English school of international relations theory, sometimes also referred to as liberal realism, the International Society School or the British Institutionalists, maintains that there is a society of states at the international level, despite the condition of anarchy, that is the lack of a global ruler or world state. The English school stands for the conviction that ideas, rather than simply material capabilities, shape the conduct of international politics, and therefore deserve analysis and critique. In this sense it is similar to constructivism, though the English school has its roots more in world history, international law and political theory, and is more open to normative approaches than is generally the case with constructivism. Overview. International system, international society, world society <laughs> International system The classical English school starts with the realist assumption of an international system that forms as soon as two or more states have a sufficient amount of interaction. It underlines the English school tradition of realism and machtpolitik power politics and puts international anarchy at the center of international relations theory. Headley Bull defined the international system as being formed when two or more have sufficient contact between them, and has sufficient impact on one another's decisions to cause them to behave as part of a whole. <laughs> international society. Headley Bull, however, argued that states share a certain common interest usually the fear of unrestricted violence that lead to the development of a certain set of rules. He thus defined an international society as existent when a group of states or, more generally, a group of independent political communities which not merely form a system, in the sense that the behavior of each is a necessary factor in the calculations of the others, but also have established by dialogue and consent common rules and institutions for the conduct of their relations, and recognize their common interest in maintaining these arrangements. In Bull's view, any type of society needed to have rules about restraints on the use of force, about the sanctity of agreements, and about property rights. Without elements of these three there would be no society. These rules are expressed in a set of institutions that capture the normative structure of any international society. In the classical English school these were, war, the great powers, diplomacy, the balance of power, and international law, especially in the mutual recognition of sovereignty by states. To these could be added, territoriality, nationalism, the market, and human equality. Since these rules are not legally binding and there is no ordering institutions, speaking of norms would probably be more appropriate. States that respect these basic rules form an international society. Brown and Ainley therefore define the international society as a norm-governed relationship whose members accept that they have at least limited responsibilities towards one another and the society as a whole. States thus follow their interests, but not at all costs. Another way of looking at this would be through Adam Watson's term raison de système, a counterpoint to raison d'état, and defined as the idea that it pays to make the system work. There are differing accounts, within the school, concerning the evolution of those ideas, some like Martin White arguing their origins can be found in the remnants of medieval conceptions of Societas Christiana, and others such as Headley Bull, in the concerns of sovereign states to safeguard and promote basic goals, especially their survival. Most English school understandings of international society blend these two together, maintaining that the contemporary society of states is partly the product of a common civilization, the Christian world of medieval Europe, and before that, the Roman Empire, and partly that of a kind of Lockean contract. <laughs> <laughs> world society Based on a Kantian understanding of the world, the concept of world society takes the global population as a whole as basis for a global identity. However, Buzan also argued that the concept of world society was the Cinderella concept of English school theory, as it received almost no conceptual development. Topic: <laughs> Re-examination of traditional approaches. 
A great deal of the English school of thought concerns itself with the examination of traditional international theory, casting it as Martin White did in his 1950s era lectures at the London School of Economics into three divisions called by Barry Buzan as the English school's triad, based on White's three traditions. Realist or Habesian, after Thomas Hobbes and thus the concept of international system. Rationalist or Grotian, after Hugo Grotius, representing the international society. Revolutionist or Kantian, after Immanuel Kant, representing world society. In broad terms, the English school itself has supported the rationalist or Grotian tradition, seeking a middle way or via media between the power politics of realism and the utopianism of revolutionism. Later White changed his triad into a four-part division by adding Mazzini. The English school is largely a constructivist theory, emphasizing the non-deterministic nature of anarchy in international affairs that also draws on functionalism and realism. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Internal divisions. The English school is often understood to be split into two main wings, named after two categories described by Headley Bull. The pluralists argue that the diversity of humankind, their differing political and religious views, ethnic and linguistic traditions, and so on, is best contained within a society that allows for the greatest possible independence for states, which can, in their forms of government, express those differing conceptions of the good life. This position is expressed most forcefully by the Canadian academic Robert Jackson, especially in The Global Covenant 2001. The solidarists, by contrast, argue that the society of states should do more to promote the causes of human rights and, perhaps, emancipation, as opposed to the rights of states to political independence and non-intervention in their internal affairs. This position may be located in the work on humanitarian intervention by, amongst others, Nicholas Wheeler, in Saving Strangers 2000. There are, however, further divisions within the school. The most obvious is that between those scholars who acquire that the school's approach should be historical and normative such as Robert Jackson or Tim Dunn and those who think it can be methodologically pluralist, making use of positivist approaches to the field like Barry Buzan and Richard Little. Topic. Affinities to others The English school does have affinities The pluralists have drawn from the classical political realism of Hans Morgenthau, George Kennan. The pluralists have also been influenced by the underpinnings of Reinhold Niebuhr's Christian realism. The solidarists have drawn from realist writers, such as Stanley Hoffman. Contemporary English school writers draw from a variety of sources. From structural neo realism of Kenneth Waltz, in the case of Barry Buzan, from social constructivism of Alexander Wendt, see Tim Dunn, from critical theorists, in that of Andrew Linklater, and even from the post structuralism of Michel Foucault, in the case of James Der Durian. History The Englishness of the school is questionable, many of its most prominent members are not English, and its intellectual origins are disputed. One view that of Hidemi Shugenami, is that its roots lie in the work of pioneering interwar scholars like the South African Charles Manning, the founding professor of the Department of International Relations at the London School of Economics. Others especially Tim Dunn and Brunello Vigesi, have located them in the work of the British Committee on the Theory of International Politics, a group created in 1959 under the chairmanship of the Cambridge historian Herbert Butterfield, with financial aid from the Rockefeller Foundation. Both positions acknowledge the central role played by the theorists Martin White, Headley Bull an Australian teaching at the London School of Economics and R. J. Vincent. The name English School was first coined by Roy Jones in an article published in the Review of International Studies in 1981, entitled, The English School, A Case for Closure. Some other descriptions, notably that of British institutionalists Hidemi Shugenami have been suggested, but are not generally used. Throughout the development of the theory, the name became widely accepted, not least because it was developed almost exclusively at the London School of Economics, Cambridge and Oxford University. Key works Headley Bull, The Anarchical Society 
Headley Bull and Adam Watson, eds. The Expansion of International Society, 1984. Herbert Butterfield, Martin White, eds. Diplomatic Investigations, 1966. Ian Clark, Legitimacy in International Society, 2005. Martin White, Four Seminal Thinkers in International Theory, Machiavelli, Grotius, Kant, and Mazzini, 2005. Martin White, Systems of States, 1977. Martin White, Power Politics, 1978. Martin White, International Theory, 1991. Tim Dunn, Inventing International Society: A History of the English School, Basingstoke, Macmillan, 1998. Barry Buzan, From International to World Society: English School Theory and the Social Structure of Globalization. Nicholas Wheeler, Saving Strangers, 2000. Brunello Vigesi, The British Committee on the Theory of International Politics, 1954 to 1985: The Rediscovery of History, Milano, Edizioni Unicopoli, 2005. Andrew Linklater and Hidemi Shugunami, The English School of International Relations: A Contemporary Reassessment, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2006. Andrew Horrell, On Global Order, Power, Values, and the Constitution of International Society Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2007 Edward Keane, Beyond the Anarchical Society, Grotius, Colonialism and Order in World Politics Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2002 James Mayall, Nationalism and International Society 1990. James Mayall, World Politics 2013. Adam Watson, 1992, The Evolution of International Society, London, Routledge. Barry Buzan, 2014, An Introduction to the English School of International Relations: The Societal Approach, Cambridge, Polity. Holsty, Colavy J, 2004, Taming the Sovereigns: Institutional Change in International Politics, Cambridge University Press. Jackson, Robert H. 2000, the Global Covenant, Human Conduct in a World of States, Oxford, Oxford University Press. See also International Community Global Village World Community Global Politics <laughs>